Yo, what is going on, guys? It's your boy Russ back again with some more Madden 19 career mode. This is episode number 23. We are 3 and 1 on the season. We did bounce back from a tough loss in week 3 against the New Orleans Saints, and we ended up beating the Indianapolis Colts. I think it was 22 to 12. A pretty decent win, man. We tried to get some garbage time points at the end, and didn't go well. But this week, we are going against the Carolina Panthers. I didn't see what record they were, but you guys know the Carolina Panthers by now. Cam Newton, Christian McCaffrey, obviously on offense. And then on defense, I'm not sure if they have Thomas Davis in the second year sim. I think they do. Um, but obviously, Luke Keekley as well. So, I mean, we got we to gotta look out for those guys, man. Especially Luke Keekley, because, I mean, if we throw over the middle, I mean, he's right there. He breaks on fucking everything. The guy's a beast. But second and ten... We look, and we're trying to find Lamar Miller over the middle. Instead, I just go to Ryan Griffin, who I checked down to, who I really just... It's going to sound really fucked up, but I really want Ryan Griffin to get hurt. Because our rookie tight end plays so much better than him, man. I mean, honestly, it's it's ridiculous. But Will Fuller ends up making a nice catch on the out route. We find Lamar Miller in the backfield, who I've been trying to hit more passing, but he just doesn't get open very often. But this game, we definitely tried to. And we also tried to run early a bit. You know, when I do try to run early, thank you. Ryan Griffin got hurt. Thank God. And that's so fucked up. But <laughs> rooting for injuries in here. It's Madden. It's Madden. It's fine. But right here, I make a... Oh, boy. That's a pure Stevie. And there he is. Luke Keekley. Shit. That was a horrible read. I don't know what I was doing right there, man. I think that was Morgan that came in uh, to replace uh, to replace Ryan Griffin. And I just tried to force it to him or something. That was just bad. But a 64-yard pick six. Stevie reads. They come out to play once again. I think the last time we threw one that bad was uh, against the Vikings last season. So... It's been a while since we've thrown a, that bad of a pick, but that, that was just horrible. That was quadruple coverage, just bad. Right here, Braxton Miller ends up making a nice catch, juking out of bounds. That was funky juke. I don't know. I guess that's a 74 overall or whatever showing. But first and 10, rolling out to the right. We do not have much speed, man. My goodness. I, I think that's Star Lutalele. Or, uh, wait, come on, short got hurt. Oh, I guess he got hurt on that play. That must have been Star Lutalele. If he's even still on the Panthers, I don't even know. Uh, it just looked like him. But he was chasing us down, and we, we couldn't get away from him. If we can't get away from him, that, that's a problem. Third and ten, looking for DeAndre Hopkins, but instead we find our boy Morgan. I still don't know his first name. I really don't. We're just going to call him Morgan. I think last episode I joked that it was Arthur Morgan uh, from, from Red Dead. I'm pretty sure that's not his name. It's right here. That's a good catch, but I think that's Logan Thomas, our third string tight end. So a good catch by him. We do end up sneaking it in for the touchdown. I think we're just going to go ahead and call Morgan Arthur Morgan. We're just going to embrace the joke right there, man. So Arthur Morgan, he's been killing it. Rookie tight end. I don't know what college he went to. Like I said, just haven't really cared to look. But, you know, he goes to college unknown, first name unknown. Our boy Morgan, he's, he's making catches, man. But 14-7, to 7, ultimately right now we are down. And we're trying to get back in this game, and we do with Braxton Miller. We get into the red zone just like that to the 12-yard line. 8 for 12 for 172 and a pick. Obviously, that pick ended up being a pick six, so a pretty huge interception. But 8 for 13 right now is, jeez. Luke Keekley, that motherfucker can break on the ball so quickly. Second and 10, we find Lamar Miller. For a couple of yards, not much, so we put ourselves in the third and five spot. We really don't want to take a field goal, so we do run, and we barely get the first down. I was just waiting to see if we got a first down. We end up calling a timeout with 11 seconds left and two timeouts, so we can get in the end zone pretty easily. We have enough time, you know, with our timeouts and stuff, so we end up trying to sneak it. It didn't work at all. Second and goal, we run a play action, and we have our fullback, and we're really lucky that wasn't picked, but that is that has to be their backup linebacker because Luke Keekley. He would have picked that. We end up lobbing it over top. We find our fullback, Carter, and that is a touchdown to make it 14-14. And our defense must have got a stop or something because coming out of half, we end up getting the ball on the 8-yard line. Get it to the 1 with the QB sneak, or not, get it to the 1 with the QB rush, and then we try to sneak, and we get completely stuffed. Third and goal, going to go ahead and try to sneak again because the sneak has been so clutch for us. And honestly, I'm a little bit scared after we threw that fullback, that fullback, like, uh, just... I don't know. It was just a bad read by me. We're lucky that last one wasn't picked, but we do end up getting in with the sneak. Our goal line plays have been very sketchy. They have not been great. You know, even that touchdown to the fullback, it was a touchdown, but it was kind of scary. Again, if Luke Keekley or a better linebacker is covering that, he's probably turning around and picking that off. But up 21-17 to 17 right now, we do regain our lead. Actually, you know what? We do get our lead for the first time. We never, ever had a lead. You know, we've been playing pretty good. Obviously, we did lose to the Saints, but I feel like we played pretty decent all season with a 3-1 and one record is right there. That does not reflect our 3 and one record. As I, that was horrible. I ended up playmakering Will Fuller up the field. I tried to lob it to where it would just be an easy catch for him, but instead it was overthrown by like 30 fucking yards. It was horrible, horribly thrown, man. But 21-17, to 17, we throw that pick. Um, I think we were just about to cross midfield too, so that was kind of a bummer to end that drive like that. But, you know, obviously still up by four. Our defense does make another stop. Only two rushes for Lamar Miller so far. 
but we just start running the ball with him a little bit, trying to run this clock, obviously, with a four-point lead. And not a ton of confidence in my offense right now, just trying to make something happen, trying to ice this game and make them use their timeouts. Unfortunately, on third and three, I made the mistake of going goal line and just trying to get a quick first down with my tight ends. Nothing was open from the start, and nothing opened up after the fact, so... We end up completely wasting that, and uh, fourth and three, we have to punt. So we give it to our defense, or turn it over to our defense, and they get another stop. I don't know how they keep doing it, but our defense has been clutch as fuck this whole series, man. I mean, they've been holding teams off. I mean, the Dolphins' defense, they they were actually pretty clutch too. But, I mean, the fucking Texans' defense, they seem to, like, bend but don't break at the end of games. They'll give up points early. But they, they don't give up much late, man. But 21 to 17 at this point, obviously, I've reiterated the fact that it is 21 to 17. But they do end up using all their timeouts. And they really can't do much else. Unfortunately, Wolf Fuller does end up getting hurt. But luckily, it is not for extensive weeks. Just the rest of this game definitely scared me when I was in this game, though. But we end up just running it out, giving it to our halfbacks. You know, last game, we tried to get some garbage time points. Not doing that this game. Obviously, only up by four. But we do end up just running it out. They take us off the field for some reason. I don't know if we kicked a field goal or just let the clock run out. I don't know what happened. But we do end up getting the win. A horrible pick six by us early. A couple QB sneak touchdowns. And ultimately, just some big catches, man. You know, brought us to a win. That was not a fantastic game. Definitely not the greatest reads in the world. But you know what? It was solid. And we got another win. That's the bottom line. Four and one on this season. I think this season's gone pretty well, man. 209 passing yards. 43 rush yards. Not bad. We usually don't run for that much. But uh, I think our running backs got a decent bit. And then we put in our two cents as well with a couple one-yard touchdowns. But anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Be sure to look out for the next one. And as always, I'm out. Peace.